like a lot of the 3DS launch titles, um, you know, they're, 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 that are sort of focused on the 3D part of the, the system's name, uh, Steel Diver does not forget that it's also a DS game, dual screen. Um, and it uses that dual screen uh, for more useful things than most games. And uh, we're going to use this mission as an opportunity to show you what you use that bottom screen for in Steel Diver. Check this out. So this is how you interface with the game. Uh, this is constantly on display uh, on the touch screen. Kind of complicated at first. You have your map. This is the map of the level. Look, at how, how the hell am I going to navigate through that? I can't even navigate through a straight level, let a, a straight tunnel, let alone this curvy business. Look at that. Looks like the intestinal tract of a some sort of creature. Oh man, I'm... Uh, so I'm anyway, so I'm wrecking because I'm not paying attention. So uh, here's, how you, here's how you move your ship. You drag uh, these little sliders with the stylus. So it's this constant uh, sort of, to steer your ship, you're, you're constantly sort of manipulating these sliders and just adjusting them to get them just right. You're not using the D-pad or the face buttons at all in Steel Diver. It's all on this touch screen. Um, you have a masker here. This is kind of neat. If you are being approached by an enemy ship and they see you and they're going to start firing missiles, you hit the masker and you become invisible. Um, it allows you to, to sneak by undetected. Problem being, it costs you air. Uh, and you don't want to run out of air. That's a real problem if you run out of air. It, and that's, that's a life lesson more than just a steel diver lesson. And then you have these two missile icons. Tapping this one fires one upward from your ship. Tapping this one fires one downward. So all the controls are on this touch screen. It also shows your depth and your speed. Um, and it's very complicated at first, you know, you kind of just, I mean, at least I just almost kind of wanted, you know, to just steer with my D-pad. Um, but then, you know, you get the feel in this game that you are kind of, you know, steering a ship and you're at the helm, you know, like Captain Luke Fisher, I guess, just not as wise. Submarines are really slow. And that's another thing about this game. Its pace is really really slow. I mean, we're kind of used to it because, I mean, this is like our daily commute, you know, here at the underwater base. We see these things outside our window, our office windows, you know, virtually every day. So what's the verdict with Steel Diver? Well, um, you know, if you're worried that this is just going to feel like a tech demo that costs $40, don't be. Um, it does feel like a full game. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel like an old DS game just brought over to the 3DS. Nintendo really fleshed it out. Um, the the the, le the least of your problems, if you're interested in Steel Diver, is that it feels thin. The problem is uh, it's very slow. Uh, this isn't a game for everyone. It's very methodical. It's like chess. It's it's the same speed as chess, basically. You know, it's a very very methodical game. So um, you know, if you get bored easily. Steel Diver is, I guess you could say, kind of a boring game, um, but it's, you know, it's fun. It, it's it's kind of got the naval strategy thing, and I mean, did you see me spinning around? What other game has you spinning around to look down a periscope? Um, it's a pretty cool game, great game for the 3D effect, another solid launch title. You know, again, it's not an A-plus launch title, but if we gave out letter grades, this is a solid B. You can play this and be awesome. It's Steel Diver for the Nintendo 3DS.